This is the plaintiff's mark. He says he purchased some freezers and refrigerators from the defendant for his restaurant business, and what he got was junk. That's right, the equipment didn't keep his food cold and frozen. The con man defendant was unresponsive when he called to complain, so he's taking him to court to get his attention. He sued for $5,000, the amount he's owed. This is the defendant, Ryan. He says, first of all, the plaintiff's an abusive guy. And after a while, he does admit to ignoring him because you couldn't reason with him. He did send over a repairman when he first complained, but the plaintiff kicked him out and told him never to come back because he was an idiot. Bottom line, he doesn't give refunds. He can have a credit for some other equipment or he can send out another repairman to take care of any issues he may be having. He's accused of being cold to a customer. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought freezers and refrigerators from the defendant for his restaurant business and they were junk. But the defendant says, sorry, he doesn't give refunds. It's the case of refrigerator, he hardly knew her. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Mark, yes. you are suing Ryan. Actually, you're not, you're, you're suing Ryan and you're also suing the company Ryan works for, for five grand because according to you, you are out all that because they, um, sold you equipment that was garbage. All right, what happened here? Um, so we opened up a new establishment in June. Uh, we reached out to Ryan who was selling equipment. Uh, Ryan seemed like a very trustworthy person and he said there was a 90 day warranty. Um, do you have paperwork from the sale? Yes, yes, we do. Was this stuff used stuff or new stuff? It was used. used. It was, it was, do you want to see the yeah. Uh, invoice? Yeah, yeah we can hand it to my bailiff. Yeah, we have a whole system in place. All right, <laughs> go ahead. Um, but because it was an, an establishment, um, we had the 90-day warranty. Yeah, we, and we, it we doesn't felt. even exclude anything. It just says 90-day warranty. Yeah. All right, um, <clears throat> so you get the equipment in June. We get the equipment in June. And you open what kind of an establishment? A restaurant? It, it is a restaurant. It's, it was, uh, uh, it's on the ocean. So it's a seasonal restaurant. We only okay. have two months to, to really, you know, make out our money. Um, right. so there was a lot of pressure on, you know, on having everything working. And, and okay. What kind of food did you sell? So it was lobster rolls was our choice oh, item. Delicious. Very, very good. You just made my <laughs> mouth <shack>. water. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. All right. So what went wrong with the equipment? It never really worked properly. Uh, it would have been it would have been better off if it just wouldn't turn on, but it wouldn't hold the temperature. Um, uh, so it would get cool, but if we began to use it, it wouldn't hold the what temperature. What do you mean by use it? it open it the door. Yeah. It wouldn't, open the door. Right. That's what it, you mean. It wouldn't hold at the proper temperature. Okay. Would, so go on. The, another another main thing. So when is the, your first complaint to them? We, uh, the day we turned it on. Yeah, not only was it not working properly, you could see that it wasn't maintained very well. There were some electrical uh, repairs done with extension cords. Uh, fans were not covered. Things were held together with duct tape on the inside. So we called him up and he was responsive. He said he will have somebody right away. We called him on a Saturday. He said somebody was gonna be there on Monday. Okay. Um, and that was the Monday before July 4th. Right. Important right. weekend. So yeah, nobody came on Monday. And there was a couple of times throughout the day that we said, are they, are they coming? And he, he assured us multiple times that, that they what were happened? coming. What happened? Why didn't somebody show up July 2nd? It was, I called the mechanic and I even sent them his number, the mechanic's number. I said, he told me he's coming this day. I have no, no control over the mechanic. No, he, that's he's, what I'm asking. He's a did union the mechanic worker. ever tell you, hey, I got backed up, yeah. I just couldn't go. So, so when did the mechanic go? Mechanic didn't get there until Thursday. So yes. this went After the 4th of July. After the 4th. After the 4th. Of the 4th. All right. So this now, went if on. I understand correctly, it's not cooling at the correct temperature, mm -hmm. but it's cooling. So you didn't have to shut down the restaurant or anything. But it's, did you lose food? We lost Quite food. The defrost cycle also wasn't working properly. So then the machine would freeze up um, and then not work at all. So we lost a lot of, a how, lot of product. How did you keep, okay, so you're suing today for 
$882.47 exactly for monies owed for spoiled food. How are you going to prove that exact amount? We have invoices. So, so a lot of the items that we lost were frozen, and those were our most expensive. So uh, lobster case in, in and of just one box of eight pounds of lobster meat is almost $200. Um, the soft shell crab that we serve, one box of those is... Do you have any um, evidence of having lost the food? We, we have copies of the invoices showing that we have... Do you have any pictures of the spoiled food or something? Um, didn't no, I don't food. think we took pictures of the food, but we have the invoices from our... When well, it the was invoices show you bought it. Right. 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 Do you so, have anything to prove that food got spoiled? Others, Usually people prove that by taking a video on the... Like your, your, your phone's understand. app, you know what I'm saying? We, yeah. People will take video, look at this. I can't use this, and they get all indignant, and then I get to see the actual food that's spoiled. So the guy comes on Thursday, does he fix it? No. Okay, what happens on Thursday? Well, he he, he did make some repairs, and it worked a bit better, but For it just long? didn't hold. Less than a week. Yeah, less, less than and a week. And then what happens? We text it again. Uh, you know, more more frustrated. Um, it's also okay. worth I, I, Let me see the text. Uh, I think I have it here. Let uh, me hear from you while they're getting that in order. I know you turned him off to come in here. I'm sorry. So he, I have it on a picture. I took What's a screenshot your role of in it. What's the company? I'm just a driver. <laughs> he never called me <laughs> to come. How old are you? I'm 20. I was 20 at the time. Now I'm 21. He called my boss and then my boss called me, tell me somebody's coming to the warehouse. Can you go there? In the beginning, he never called me. When he came to the warehouse, he gave me his number in, in the warehouse. And then I, I texted him from the warehouse. I never had his number. I have no idea who he was. My boss just told me to come there and then open it up. If you need something, sell it. Because my, my boss was, was overseas on vacation. Okay. Okay. So I'm just a delivery driver once, twice a week from, for him. I, I do a, a few Well, apparently he trusts you a little more than that. You're not just a delivery driver. That's he has he you trusts. there for a big sale, and he sends you <laughs> uh, to my courtroom I instead of coming himself. So you are our... more of a trusted employee, but you're right. You shouldn't be personally sued. Mm -hmm. So the lawsuit against him personally is dismissed. So now you're, so your, your boss tells you to go there, and then you're the only face they ever see. They never actually, I guess, see your boss, right? My boss was on vacation. He okay. goes. He, he goes. So well, when they call you, you don't say, "Hey, I'm a delivery boy. I'm gonna go shoot hoops with my friend." What's your name? Saul. Saul. <laughs> he, instead, you handle the complaints on the warranty. And what happened? So you send because them my boss was overseas. So I told them. He, I, I told him the stuff doesn't work. Is your boss work. your dad? No. Is he your uncle? No. Is he related to you? No is he way a friend? Possible. That boss is leaving. I wouldn't leave turning off no. the coffee pot to my 20-year-old, okay? And the boss no. is leaving a lot in your hand. All right, yeah, so, he does that all, all, all the time, too. Yeah, me. I want to be overseas and leave everything in the hands of him. He lives a very good life. Yeah, he should. Well, he should. He's earned it. All right, so now, where are we? So you end up um, sending the, the, you know, the repair guy. The repair guy doesn't hop and I skip I have no and idea who, who yeah. the repair guy is even. He told me, call him. His, his name, the owner. The owner. Oh. The owner told me, call him. I called him, sent him over. I don't know when, when he went, and they just kept on texting me. Then, then they're harassing me. Then they're threatening no, 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 me. They're, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk to me about um, threatening and harassing, because texting you to fix this stuff is not harassing. It wasn't just texting to fix. It was more like cursing okay, and then let's telling see me. Do you have the, the text? There's some right here. I don't want to see them on paper. I want to see I have a screenshot of it on my phone. To be honest, two weeks but before I got the lawsuit, I, I deleted everything. The, yeah. I got a new if phone. You should, if you're using your personal phone for business, and you are apparently. I don't really do, I just do deliveries for him. No, sweetheart, just, you have to stop saying that because you are standing in my presence. Mm -hmm. So you're the guy he sent to represent him here today. So you can say you do deliveries, but you also do sales. You also do court representations. So you can't say, oh, I'm 20 years old. I want to play video games. No, you're here. So you got a man up and you, you're, you're, you know, you're here. You're the guy. You are the company right now. Yeah. What you got there? So, Your Honor, you, you can see there uh, where he promises to send a delivery person on the 11th. Here's uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at what I want to look at, yeah, not what you yeah. want me to look at. So everybody can just chill. We're going to go back to June 22nd. I, I've never so much not wanted to get a text from my girlfriend in the middle of it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to look at your girl, girlfriend's text. I'm going to look at these texts. Oh, you mean right now she texts now? Yeah, she better not. <laughs> okay, so the first of the texts, you know, telling you there's a problem, comes on June 29th. Couple of issues. Glass door not holding temperature. Low boy gaskets beyond gross and some falling off and a broken blower held with duct tape. You respond to him. You don't go, hey, I'm just a delivery boy. You respond, that is just missing a screw. 
I will send my mechanic there to look at it. On July 3rd, later in the day, please let us know what's going on. I need to know if someone's coming and when. To which you answer on July 3rd, mechanic just left my warehouse and is on the way to you. So did the mechanic go on July 3rd? He said he was going to, he said he was going to Is he your him. employee? No. Mechanic just left my warehouse and is on the way to you. So hopefully by two, he will have parts, et cetera. And what happens that day? Nothing. Did not come. He doesn't come. come till Thursday. So on, on July 10th, which is about uh, shorter than a week from the Thursday that the mechanic comes, we lost a few hundred dollars on the product because of this. Please be honest with us. Are you going to fix it or pick it up and refund our money? The amount of headache this has caused us is unbelievable. You ask him, the mechanic came to you? <laughs> and they say, yes, he fixed it, then it failed again. And you say, call him to come back. I will speak to Mark. Who's Mark? You? I will speak. Which one's Mark? Okay, so the texting back and forth is from you to him. I will speak Correct. to Mark, but I suspect that I, that if you can't get a mechanic there to hold up your side of the deal, the next person you will hear from will be our attorney. Please keep in mind we aren't your usual restaurant schlubs. I don't know what that means. We have real resources and real lawyers. Ooh, my lawyer's bigger than yours. I highly suggest you sort this out. I call the mechanic. It should be coming today or tomorrow. Call him and see when he's available to come. What makes you think that's acceptable? I have a business to run. Sending me the same schmuck who picked it up the last time, today or tomorrow, or eventually, when he's available, is nonsense. You can't or won't be a man of your word, then don't waste my time. You shook my hand and made a promise. You're either a liar or not. You call a mechanic and get him here like you promised, or you get a lawyer because I will drag your <laughs> buttocks to court, but that's not the word you use, for the sheer fun of it. To screw over another Jew to his face is the blankest thing you can do. Okay? Because you're both Jewish and you felt like it was... We, we felt a little bit of at least a cultural bond okay. that would be... Just so you know, the small freezer had some secondhand blanky fan in it that didn't spin, so things overheated, lost more product. Low boy freezer was set wrong. Defrost cycle, probably by you, more lost. You really got us good. Just wait, you... <laughs> hey, that got nasty fast. <laughs> I, I'm a chef, Your Honor. I get a little hot under the collar when uh, Do you? my food yeah. gets spoiled. And So if the refrigerator was defective and there was seafood inside, lobster and crab, and they spoil, is the guy who sold the appliances also responsible for the seafood? Yes. For the cost? Sure. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you're honest. What do you say? Um, if he knew about the defects. No, he didn't know. Well, he didn't know, he didn't know he about the defects. He knew that his refrigerators were often defective. Does and he have reliable. to know the refrigerator? If he sold the refrigerator and it's defective? I say that he sells it as is. Oh, but it wasn't. Uh huh. Going inside the courtroom. What ended up happening? Is the restaurant still open? Well, it's a seasonal business. So, so you close it? So we're closed so for, what happened for the with season. The, with the, the we ended up having to buy another piece of equipment. Okay. Um, and we have two of the repairs that we could give we to have, you. We have two. Well, I need all of the repairs, because that's what you'd be entitled to. Okay. There was, I mean, for, for what it's worth, there was uh, um, at least one more of about equivalent value. We kept it to the period that was referenced within the text messages. Okay, um, but it has to be, you're entitled to anything you spent within 90 days. Do you have anything else to show me but these two? We, no. we don't. Right. Well, the total. Um, because you guys were, and when I say you guys, at some point, is there another employee besides you who works here or no? Because you're just a delivery boy. Who's running the business while you're- The owner. Huh? The two owners. So why don't you just have the owners call them back if they're being rude to you instead of breaching the contract by not honoring the warranty? I told them, I, I showed my boss all the tech messages. He said he's gonna drag me to court. So we said, let, let him drag you to court. Drag you to court? <laughs> yeah. Do you think I'm stupid or something? Really? Yeah, do you think I'm stupid? No. Give me some evidence the boss you're saying exists, exists. What evidence? I don't know. I own the company? <laughs> I, don't own, I don't own the company. I'm just so, I'm, I'm fascinated that the owners send a 20 year old to court. All right, um, so what's your answer for why you give a 90 day warranty and then you don't honor it? He said, I told him the, the mechanic will come. I called the mechanic, he came. And then he told me he, he, he doesn't want that, that, that schlub coming back. Okay, so one, it, well, because it, did, it, didn't, it, it didn't work. So, so then he um, could come back and, re and see what's the real problem. Well, did I'm you not send a mechanic. somebody else? 
Right. So there are lots of mechanics. So didn't, and you said he wasn't your in-house guy. Remember when you said that? No. So uh, I just not call your in-house him to guy. Go. There's other mechanics you can call. Did you ever call another mechanic so you can make good on your contract? He's the only mechanic that we work that I use. That okay. They, they well, use. that's going to cost you, sweetheart. All right. So I know you had to pay fifteen hundred to replace one of the units. I know that you paid nine hundred and seventy-six fifty for one of the repairs. I know you paid $1,193.50 for another of the repairs, which is a total of $3,670. I know you've been saying you've lost food, but I kind of need to see some evidence of lost food for that. So I'm finding in your favor in the amount of $3,670 against the restaurant. Fair enough. Verdict for the plaintiffs. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff recovers a little over $3,600. Ryan, the defendant, is coming out. I've got a simple question to you. Are you mad for your boss sending you here to defend this no. action? Not at all? No. Do you think he'd be mad at you for losing this case? Probably. Do you question him as to why he wouldn't come stand up in court? No. Why not? Because I was the one dealing with him. Yeah, but you're the driver. So, so you say. Yeah. Why would you defend your boss in court? I just, it's hard yeah, to understand. He told me you could go. He did, he, I don't know. And you said fine? Yeah, why not? All right. I think the judge even doubts that you aren't the owner of the company, you know? I, I think that. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. you, you don't own the company. No, I don't own the company. Crazy, crazy. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. On your way. What do you think? Did you realize you were dealing with the driver for all this time? No, not at all. He completely represented it differently. He negotiated the price. He took us around. He said it was his family's uh, company. Do you think he's lying here in court? He lied either in court or to us separately, but yeah, I think he's lying. Okay. Well, you got part of what you were seeking. Okay. The business do okay? It did very well. And you're going to open it again in the summer? Oh, yeah. Sure will. Good luck. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Harvey? Okay, Doug, I mean, the judge made such a good point that, you know, if somebody causes you damage that you wouldn't necessarily anticipate, like spoiled seafood, you got to keep evidence that that happened. You know, pick, take pictures or video of the lobster being thrown in the garbage, but you need some proof.